Yo, 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 yo. What up, Tubies? I don't know if you guys heard about this one and shit. How to murder your husband, novelist, accidentally confessed to killing real life chef husband. How about that? See, the curtain is falling on all these feministic thinking women. In this article, I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below. You guys can read it for yourself. But Nancy Crampton Braffy allegedly killed her husband, Daniel Braffy, 63 years old. In 2018, and this heifer had the nerve to write a book about it. Talk about the reverse OJ. Yes, yes, people, she wrote a book about it. How about that? wrote a book about it hinted at you know some of the things in the book chances are I haven't I've never heard of this woman didn't know about the book until to the story actually broke and how arrogant and sick and narcissistic must must you be so after you do something like that write a book and just you know, because chances are the prosecutors, before they brought charges against her, read her books and then looked at, you know, recent death of her husband or whatever. And it was like, hmm, it's very interesting. And then the snow, snowball rolling down a hill becomes Frosty the snowman at the end. Uh, fuck y'all. I know that don't really make sense, but y'all get what I'm y'all get where I'm going. <laughs> the Oregon romance novelist who authored the fiction work "How to Murder Your Your Husband" is who is accused of killing her husband in real life, allegedly slipping up, allegedly slipped up, and confessed to the shooting by mistake, according to a prosecutor. According to the mon. Mall, yeah, I can't even pronounce that shit. Moth numb, you know what? I'm not even going to try to go here. Y'all can read this shit in the description box. County Senior Deputy District Attorney Sean Overstreet, Nancy Crampton Brophy, 71, who was accused of killing her husband, allegedly went into detail about shooting with an inmate who she was living with according to Oregon lied hmm. just couldn't keep it to yourself huh? and it's bad enough you did it it's worse you got away with it it's double worse that you you just couldn't shut your mouth you just had to you know the, the penis envy is showing. You had to show how your masculine self, how tough you are. And like, well, maybe if I did it, I would, let me write it in a book and be passive aggressive. You know, virtue signaling that, hey, I'm tough. I might have did it or maybe not. Uh, you know, can I have some attention, please? You got a lot of women out there to do that shit nowadays. You're like, oh. You want attention that bad, huh? Hmm. Sucks to be you twice. She allegedly committed the murder because of impending financial issues and needed the $1.5 million in insurance, according to authorities. Oh, my God. Yeah. I guess that book wasn't selling too much, huh? It's probably going, the sales probably going to go up, but you're not going to know because you're going to be, you're going to be putting creases in license plates 
for a living. Chipping off bricks, chipping off rocks. Like that Bugs Bunny uh, gif. With a pounding on a rock. The prison, prison stripes on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to be you. Yeah, you, well, you've accomplished that. You're going to get all the attention you, you was looking for. So either you can fight or you're going to be somebody's girlfriend. Good luck with that. Anyway, it's this fucking scumbag of a heifer. She actually thought she got away with something. And was even so bold about it to be on some old school rap shit. Like, you know how rappers back in the day used to diss each other subliminally? You had to decode and decipher who they was talking about and shit. And this heifer tried to do some of that. Okay. You need some attention, huh? Write you a book and be passively aggressive and make what if scenarios and inferences and shit. Oh, and it backfired on you, huh? Well, good luck with that shit. Have fun making, uh, as ABL would say, chipping those big rock little rocks. Cause that's what you're gonna be doing. You gonna be, you gonna be creasing license plates for a living now. Congratulations. And if your book becomes a top seller, it won't, it won't matter to you now because <laughs> you ain't gonna know. And she looked like she's kind of old, so a lot of her family members probably have passed away or whatever. So who gonna who gonna bother reading your book? All because you wanted to be a passive aggressive feministic biatch. Congratulations. I hope you got the trophy you was looking for. These heifers is beyond crazy. And yes. She's a cane toad. <laughs>